today we discuss about Fourier series. So, what is first of all Fourier series? Using this Fourier series, we will express a non sensational periodic function into fundamental and its harmonic, a series of sine and cosine of an angle and its multiples of the form. So, first of all, one thing noted that in this lecture we discuss only about Fourier series only related to continuous function not discrete function or not discrete signal and continuous function is also known as an analog signal ok so Fourier series is applicable for only periodic function periodic function means if a signal represented by FT then after a complete time period it repeat itself again so that is called the periodic function and in the previous video we will see that this is a condition for not a periodic function this is a condition of a periodic function for a periodic function we apply Fourier transform but for periodic function we apply FS that means Fourier series ok and now we see we say that any non sensational periodic periodic function non sensational means either square wave triangular wave short wave impulse wave any complex function is expressed into fundamental and its harmonic component and this harmonic contains a series of sine and cosine of an angle and its multiple of the form and the Fourier series like a expressed like a first these are DC part then this is a first harmonic this is a second harmonic and this is a nth component this is a cos part and for the sine part the first harmonic this second harmonic like that plus dot 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 bn sine nx so this is a typical equation of any Fourier series and this equation is expressed by this form n equal to 1 to infinity in a bracket a n cos n x plus b n sin n x this is known as trigonometric Fourier series form and here a 0 is the DC component a 1 a 2 dot 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 a n and b 1 from b n are constant a periodic function fx can be expressed in a Fourier series and the series consisting of the following parameters number one is a0 is called DC component of the any electrical signal or any signal number two is the fundamental frequency determined by both a1 and b1 a1 for cos component and b1 for sine component and number three is most important components of the harmonics multiple of the fundamental fundamental frequency determined by a2 a2 to an and b2 to bn are known as Fourier coefficient or Fourier constant ok now we discuss about conditions of Fourier series this is known as Dirichlet's condition Dirichlet's condition sorry this is L Dirichlet's condition so what is that Dirichlet's condition say that the function which have certain condition and done for a Fourier series and any function for a Fourier series have some certain condition are met we consider if a function fx for an interval minus pi to plus pi so this is a complete interval that is a full time period equal to 2 pi first of all it is single valued that means for every value of x there is only one value of fx number two the signal is bounded number three the signal have finite number of maxima and minima number four it has only finite number of discontinuities number five is one of the most important if f x plus 2 pi equal to fx for a value of x for minus pi 2 plus pi 
then we compute the Fourier series formula. Okay. Now advantage of Fourier series. What are the advantages? Using Fourier series, we can convert the discontinuous function is not uniformly. Uh, Fourier series of a discontinuous function is not uniformly converges at all the point, and using Fourier series, we can expanding the periodic function. Uh, since outside the closed interval there exists a periodic extension of the function and uh, for a continuous function the advantage of Fourier series meaning that we know the every term that is the DC part and the sinusoidal component which are which are the part of any complex signal we can know this information using this Fourier series okay so before done Fourier series some trigonometric relation uh, the some following integration should be remembered that is 0 to 2 pi sin nx dx equal to always 0 okay this from class 12 number 2 0 to 2 pi cos nx dx this is also equal to 0 0 to 2 pi sin square nx dx this is equal to pi 0 to 2 pi cos square nx dx this is equal to pi next one 0 to 2 pi sin nx into sin mx dx equal to 0 next 0 to 2 pi cos nx into cos mx dx equal to 0 ok so this formula is very useful for to determine the Fourier coefficient now our next part is determine of Fourier coefficient ok so now what is the Fourier series formula we know that fx equal to a0 by 2 then a1 cos x then a2 cos 2x and the nth harmonics is represented by this formula and this is similarly for b1 sin x plus b2 sin 2x plus bn sin nx so first of all find a0 okay and the limit is from 0 to 2 pi the limit of x from 0 to 2 pi one complete cycle so now this is equation 1 so now integration both side equation 1 from x equal to 0 to 2, 2 pi so this is fx dx this is 0 to 2 pi a 0 by 2 into dx and we know that every sine and cosine part the integration of the full time period equal to 0 so that's why we say that from here a 0 equals to 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi fx dx so this is the value of first Fourier coefficient that is the DC component this is a0 component so equals this is equation 2 now we find next component known as a n for a n multiply equation 1 in the both side by cos nx and then integrate from 0 to 2 pi so now 0 to 2 pi in the left hand side fx cos nx dx ok now first term is a0 by 2 0 to 2 pi this is cos nx dx ok right then next one is and the all term a1 0 to 2 pi this is cos nx cos x dx plus dot 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 a in 0 to 2 pi this is cos square nx dx and similarly for in the sine part 0 to 2 pi sine x cos nx d 
dx plus dot dot 0 to 2 pi sin nx cos nx so from the integration we know that in the left hand side 0 to 2 pi if x cos nx dx this value equal to 0 all value equal to 0 remain but only this value is not equal to 0 so what is this value so from this integration in the right hand side only this integration value is not equal to 0 and remaining all integration value equal to 0 according to the integration property of applied to the trigonometric function so if we integrate this value then this is will get n into pi therefore n equals to 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi fx of cos nx dx so this is the second part and the harmonic part this is an harmonic part for n equal to 1 2 3 4 and so on now for the third proof is similar to the second proof find bn so find bn we multiply in both sides by sin nx and taking integral from 0 to 2 pi for, for x okay so now in the left hand side 0 to 2 pi fx sin nx dx remaining all part all integration equal to 0 only this part is not equal to 0 this part sin square nx dx okay okay right and here bn also bn is a expression okay now from here we get the value of bn equal to 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi sin nx dx so this is the bn part and then in harmonic represent by n equal to 1 2 3 4 so this is a continuous time Fourier series representation and its coefficient value and the conditions the integrations the digital condition Fourier series representation okay